why global superstar Meghan Markle ultimately takes a back seat to Kate Middleton. Meghan Markle may be the new global superstar of the British royal family, and she may have garnered most of the headlines following the family's gathering on the balcony of Buckingham Palace for the annual Trooping the Colour last weekend. But there's also a pecking order in the House of Windsor and the new Duchess of Sussex officially is not all of that high in that hierarchy. So for her first ever Buckingham Palace balcony appearance, the former TV actress couldn't be front and center like she was at her May 19th wedding. Instead, front and center with Queen Elizabeth and Prince Charles was Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge. Meghan, was not as prominent perhaps as some people might have expected, but there's a pecking order. Joe Little, managing editor of Majesty magazine, told People magazine. There was no slight intended, but William being the older, more senior brother would go out, first, with his wife. Yes, in fact, Kate's husband Prince William is second in line to the British throne, so he's likely to become king one day after Prince Charles. That means, Kate will one day become queen consort. Meanwhile, Harry is now sixth in line to the throne but he'll eventually fall lower in the line of succession as William's heirs. Prince George, Princess Charlotte or Prince Louis have children. Notably, Prince George, 4, and Princess Charlotte, 3, also enjoyed a front spot on the balcony but that's so they can see the parade. As usual, they also looked adorable for this major royal family photo op, with their 7-year-old cousin Savannah Phillips almost stealing the show by pretending to conduct the orchestra and by putting her hand over George's mouth. The Trooping the Colour is an annual parade of regiments from the British and Commonwealth armies to honour Queen Elizabeth II's birthday. The event also features a flyover of military jets. For this year's festivities, the Queen was surrounded by four generations of royals. Not present was Prince Philip who is 97 and announced last year that he was retiring from public engagements. But with the Queen in the front row of royals were Kate and William, as well as the Queen's offspring, Prince Charles, Prince Andrew, and Princess Anne. In fact, Kate stood next to Prince Charles, who stood next to his mother. Meanwhile, you could see a bit of Meghan standing behind Kate and William, accompanying her husband Prince Harry. Meghan earned some style points for her pale pink Carolina Herrera frock and matching Philip Tracy flat-brimmed fascinator. However, many of the headlines from the event focused on questions of whether the American-born Duchess broke royal protocol by wearing an ensemble with an off-the-shoulder neckline that showed some skin. That sort of neckline usually isn't seen at the Trooping the Color event. Vanity Fair reported. Kate has attended since 2011 and has always worn an outfit that covers her shoulders and sleeves that go past her elbows. And Harry's mother Diana, another royal renegade, still always wore a long sleeve for her trooping the colors. But even though Meghan had to take a back seat to Kate and William at the event, she wasn't relegated to the side as other relatives were. She still had a spot in the center of the balcony, behind the Queen and Prince Charles. In fact, it's been reported that the Queen is very fond of Harry and is particularly keen on providing a guiding hand to his new non-British wife, people reported. To that end, Meghan will join the Queen on a royal visit this week to a city outside London. Meanwhile, when it comes to her sister-in-law Kate, there is one tradition Meghan will likely have to abide by at some point, according to Hello magazine. While it's not the case that female members of the royal family have to routinely curtsy to one another, they do have to curtsy to the Queen, Hello said. That means that if or when Prince William ascends to the throne, and Kate becomes Queen Consort, Meghan will have to curtsy to her. Yes, there is a pecking order.